So this is the Zuckerman Neapolitan single. I have the registers and the jack separate from the instrument, as well as all the tuning pins. Uh, as you can see, I was in the process of stripping the heavy brown varnish off of the body of the instrument uh, when I decided to hang up the gloves on this one and move on to other work. I've got plenty of other instruments. Uh, the soundboard, um, at first I was just going to strip it and refinish it, but after looking at it, it, it just needs to be replaced in my opinion. You have a small crack here, which is inconsequential, but you have like a chunk of the soundboard missing here, and it looks like someone just tried to fill it in with wood glue. But um, other than that, it plays. I have the Zuckerman tuning hammer. It's got the short octave with the divided uh, sharps in the bass, and it goes up to the high D, so it's not an exact copy off of any particular historic instrument, but um, it's a beautiful instrument nonetheless. Uh, you can still see the varnish on the stand. Uh, you can leave it on there or just strip it, but I mean, uh, either which way, it'll be a beautiful instrument when it's done. My sincere advice would be to replace the soundboard, but if you don't mind uh, this here, then, you know, by all means, just leave it as it is. Um, but yeah, I just have more pressing things to get to, so, you know, 350 bucks, and it's yours. Uh, it's a great deal. You'll have a, a beautiful instrument, and like I said, before I took the strings off and the action, the jacks out, it played, and there's a video of it playing when I got it, so... Yeah, it'll, you can, you can just restring it up and play it if you want to. I mean, it doesn't look the best cosmetically at the moment because of all the varnish that's up there, but, you know, a few more coats of chemical stripper and some steel wool will take it all right off. And then if you were to maybe wipe the outer case down with, like, some linseed oil or, or even just some wax, it would look nice. So I just can't understand why somebody would put varnish on the wood that's already beautiful. I think it's Alaskan yellow cedar. So, yeah, like I said, 350 bucks, and uh, send someone to come and get it, and it's yours. It fits in the back of a car with the back seat folded down through the trunk, so I just have other things to work on.